Hello there guys, it's Dagger here. Today I'm doing a product review. It's from Nikon. Not Nikon, it's Nikon. Okay, so anyway, we got here is the D3400 or D3400 and uh, this is a really nice camera. I got it yesterday. Um, I've been using it a lot. Um, let me uh, unequip this pod here I got with it. Yes, it's a kit. Um, my dad got it from Amazon because I cannot afford this because I don't have money. Uh, so it came from Amazon from uh, Beach something, whatever the company was that sent it to Amazon and sent it to us. Well, what you'll get in the box, I'm about to show you. You get the camera itself with the lens cap. You get the charger. You get, you get the Vivitar uh, little clicker thing for the Wi-Fi, the wireless shutter, whatever it's called, the little, you get a SD card reader, so you can put your SD in there and put it in your computer, so if you're out on the go and this is perfect, it's for full size SDs, so it works perfectly. And I'm trying to make this not so long, but uh, I'll get with the rest of the stuff that comes with it later, I'm just going to do more about the camera. So anyway, this is a really nice camera. It's uh, 24.4 gigabyte or gigabytes, the megapixels, and uh, it shoots really clear. Uh, to turn it on, you need to take this button right here and click it over to on. It'll bring you up to the screen like this. Uh, I don't have lens on right now, so all that good stuff. If you're a professional or you know uh, stuff on this camera, you'll you don't really show you anything. Well, anyway, there's plenty of um, plentiful of modes. That's why is this thing not on? Hello, turn on, buddy. Okay, I might as well have to put a lens on then to show you guys. Well, anyway, it came with a small lens, the VR. It's the 18 to 55 millimeter DX VR by Nikon. Um, now, find the white dot on the lens. Then find it on the camera. Take the white dot, line it up. Then just twist clockwise. Wait. Yeah, clockwise. No, counterclockwise. Sorry, guys. And then if the lens, it's on. And it says, before taking pictures, make sure my camera. Before taking pictures, make sure it's, you know, you twist, rotate the zoom ring, which is this piece right here. Um, I broke my lens. It's, uh, because before I used to lock tight. And now all they do is just twist it without pushing the button and it opens automatically. Take out the lens cap, obviously. I've done that plenty full of times. Um, it locks going back too, so. You can tell three modes in the back. It shows that it's not a touch screen, so you can't control anything in the back. Then you have the eyepiece. Low. Yeah. Then you have on the lens, you have the... Uh, ring to figure out what everything is and uh, just clarify and you have the zoom and then to shut it just uh, push your button and let it close I can just twist mine and it opens up I mean it's not that bad of a deal um, I believe my dad got it for around six hundred dollars I'm not sure so on top you have the different modes the shutter button these other three buttons the record the record, the info, and then the brightness control. The top rail, you have the, oops, the flash, why are you not popping up? Oh, the flash, it's a pretty bright flash, you can blind some with it. Um, I got mine in red because it just looks really nice, or I asked for red because it looked really nice. Uh, you have the scroll wheel to control your settings inside more or less the ISO. You have a little touch pad here, like a little uh, grippy. You have a grip pad here. I'm going to turn this off real quick, guys. There's nothing really to show you. You have the uh, pad to maneuver what's inside so you can switch the photos. Then you have, you know, the timer and how many pictures you want to take in the trash can to delete other pictures you've just taken. So that's what the camera was. It's pretty cool. Um, I like it so far. It comes out with really good pictures and really good video so let's get around with the accessories that came with it came with a I believe it's a Nikon DX 70 to 300 millimeter lens 
Really good camera lens. I like it. It goes pretty far. It's really clear. <coughs> it came with uh, two Vivitar uh, telephotos extensions. Uh, they're pretty much the same. So I'm not going to show you both. But uh, this is one of them. It came in like this kind of uh, pleather bag. It says Vivitar. And here's the lens cap on this one. It's just a little cheap plastic kind of cap. Then it has like a screw cap on the back for this one. And it's just a little telephoto lens. I mean, I probably could put out my camera in it. No, it doesn't have the same effect. But yeah, it just came with two of these. They're both different, but they're not like so different where I need to show you both of them to make a point that, oh wow, these are so amazing and so different and cool. No, it's just that they're really the same and I really don't have to show you guys both because you get the idea that it came with two Vivitar lenses or telephotos extensions. Then it came with these uh, little SD wallets. They're pretty nifty. I'll show you one, obviously, because they're both the same. Uh, three slots for three SD cards. Uh, so if you're on the move, you just have whatever. So I have six storages. I don't have six SD cards because, you know, why would I want to? Not like I'm going to Paris and taking thousands of pictures. And, uh, yeah, that's the wallet. Came with these little filters, three of them. Three different kinds, uh, I can go through it because they're just filters. There's nothing really special about them. And it came with a cleaning kit. It's uh, cool. Come with a uh, little holder, Q-tips, a brush, all the good stuff. Then I got a brush pen so I can brush the dust out of my, my lens. Oops, wrong way. It's pretty cool. Came with a little air rocket to get the air out or the dust. A little cloth. Then cool, it came with a flash, or a side flash, but I'm never going to use it because I don't really use flash. I like to do day photography, not night. Um, so that's pretty much all that came with it. It also came with a little carrying case, but I don't like this one because it's a uh, bow, Bauer? Bauer, I think? Bower? It's a Bower case. It holds uh, the camera and the two lenses and whatever else, I guess. I just put my film in it because that's why I like my film camera. It fits perfectly in that one. And I just took my Nikon. It didn't come with a Nikon, which was, I was sad about because it, it said it came with a Nikon on the front package. So I just took my uh, really, really nice Nikon bag and it holds a lot more. It has two spots for lenses. It has the main camera pouch. It has a top pouch. You can put stuff in it. It has a front pouch. It's just really loaded. And it has two side pouches for uh, whatever else, like drinks. So that's, you know, what I like about it because you don't know, carry more stuff. Oh, not to forget, I have a kid with a small little sweet tripod. I'll call it a monkey tripod because you can wrap it around really anything because it's really flexible. You could probably wrap it around a truck grill and have it not fall off because this thing could twist some pretty good spots. Um, swivel, you can twist it 360. Um, it's really durable. <laughs> it hasn't broken yet and it's been a day, so I'm pretty amazed. So I probably, probably would have broke this thing already. So yeah guys, that's pretty much all the stuff that came with this Nikon. And I do recommend it. For the price, it's a good camera. It's my first uh, electric photography camera. And so I'm pretty happy. I, I love it. It does good for me. Oh, and don't forget, it has the uh, app where you can look at your pictures on your phone. That way you don't have to take the SD card, walk up to your computer, put your stuff in, and re-download, and send it to your phone. No, this thing automatically has a link to your phone with if you have the app and you connect it. So when you take pictures of this, it sends those pictures to your phone, so that way you don't have to go through the whole thing of going back and forth and putting in a computer and printing them. And you can do it straight from your phone, guys, which is pretty cool if you have a... Uh, HP printer that has a connection Bluetooth too. So you just go on your phone, type in your whatever, and do whatever. Save these photos from this, send them to your printer, and you don't have to get up for whatsoever for anything unless you need to change your ink or get your camera. Because your camera has to be on, and it sends them to your phone while it's on. But, I mean, whatever. You guys figure it out once you get your camera. But yeah, I love it. It's a really good camera.